Praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name most high. So now let's sing some praise. In our first hymn, Mission Praise 14, all having Let us pray. Heavenly Father, draw near to us this morning as we come with thanksgiving for this new day. Thank you for your amazing power and for work in our lives. Thank you for your goodness and for your blessings over us. Thank you for your great love and care and for your sacrifice so that we may have freedom and life. Forgive us when we don't thank you enough for who you are and for all that you've given. Help us to set our hearts on you afresh. Renew our spirit. Fill us with your peace and joy. We love you. We need you this day and this day. Lord, help us go forward in faith. This day, by saying the prayer you taught us to say. And I'm going to get 
Even though I don't forget God or care about men, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice, so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. He put him in off. I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? And the passage we just heard, the last. Jesus. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? So the word for today is faith. The word faith or the reverence of it are found 458 times in the NIV version of the Bible. The literal meaning of faith is this. The assurance that the things revealed and promised in the Lord are true, even though unseen and gives the believer a conviction that what he expects in faith will come to him. The Cambridge Dictionary says this. Faith or the derivative in the text. So let's break down the word faith. Take the woman who had been bleeding for many years and no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched his cloak and immediately her bleeding stopped. We don't know the woman's name, but she had faith before she touched Jesus' cloak that she would be healed and she was healed even before Jesus knew who had touched him. Jesus said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. A is for amazing. In John 11 verse 45 we find these words. Therefore, many of the Jews who have not who have seen what Jesus did with their faith in him. How amazing it is that believers of this age of the Holy Spirit. I as for intimate. Jesus, the Son of God, had an intimate father and son relationship while he was here on earth. Just as we have had faith in our parents, we trusted them to look after us. Jesus trusted his father, even though he knew And 
Gethsemane, Jesus called out. Jesus left his disciples keeping watch so that he could have an intimate moment in prayer with his Father. Just as we might console him and reassure him. That's what Jesus wants from us. To spend time with him, taking our sorrows, our fears, our joys, and our thanks to him. Jesus wants to have that father and son and daughter relationship with us. He is for teaching. And the Three years of Jesus' ministry, he taught and talked to all kinds of people, from the lowest to the highest. He taught his disciples to be disciples of God. In John's Gospel, We read these words at chapter 14, verse 25. All this I have spoken while still with you, but the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, Jesus was leaving nothing to chance. He didn't want the disciples or us. To forget his teeth. I'd like to finish with a passage from 1 Corinthians 13, which I think brings everything together. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding God or a client symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all nothing, if I give all I possess to the poor and surrender myself to the flames but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain. Faith, hope, 
faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. If we have this faith in our Saviour and Lord, we can enter into
Let us pray. Father, we come back to the same as we about life's loss. We pray for the perpetrators of war and for reconciliation. We pray for those who are seeking refuge. We pray for all politicians attending and discussing global warming this week in Egypt. Charles and their government, bless them with wisdom, knowledge, honesty, and integrity. Be with all in our health service, our police service, and I pray for financially in these difficult economic times. We ask all this in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our hope and our salvation. Amen.